Hey there, Storm fans, Bryant Cook, and today we are combining Tolarian Winds with Sprouting Vines. And if you're unfamiliar with those cards, Tolarian Winds is a one blue and a colorless for an instant. It's from Ursa's Saga. Discard all the cards from your hand and then draw that many cards. This card has been reprinted in a couple different sets, 7th edition. I have those foils personally. And then we have a Sprouting Vines from Scourge. It's two and a green for an instant. Search your library for a basic land, put it to your hand, and then Storm. So it copies itself for each spell played this turn. So the idea is that we're playing a bunch of broken cards on our deck, like Lotus Petal, Dark Ritual, Rite of Flame, a card that's banned in Modern, Cabal Ritual, Manamorphose, and then we're, you know, creating a Storm Count using those. Okay, so then we cast Telerian Winds. Holding priority, we cast Sprouting Vines. We search our deck for all these wonderful basic lands, and then we discard them to the Telerian Winds, and we draw somewhere between 8 and 12 cards on average. So that is what we're looking to do today with this Telerian Winds. It's sort of a build your own Galvanic Relay, except it's illegal and pauper, and you get those cards right now, which is pretty fascinating. So I mentioned all the broken mana. Then we have some draw spells. So we have Chromatic Star, you know, a little bit underwhelming, but we are a four color deck. And then we have Experimental Synthesizer, Deadly Dispute, Manamorphose, Night's Whisper, you know, pretty good cards. One thing that I found about this deck was that you're not allowed to play things like Ren's Resolve, Reckless Impulse, those sort of effects, because you don't want your cards in exile. Because if you exile lands, you can't get them back later using something like Felden's Cane. So with Felden's Cane, this, I should credit the person, Calicles, Jacob, whatever you like to call them as, uh, they're a pauper grinder. They create content. They're really intelligent. Well, they sort of figured out that if you play a Felden's Cane like the old Galvanic Relay decks, you can Tolarian Winds and Sprouting Vines more than once per game. And that's actually a pretty huge deal. And if you're willing to play Felden's Cane, then Kessig Flame Breather is a cleaner win than the Stream of Thought loop that I played previously here on this channel. So if you're interested in seeing the Stream of Thought video, hey, go check that out. But today we're playing Kessig Flame Breather because essentially you have six pingers to win the game with, with the Felden's Cane. So this was a really great find. And because of this, you don't want to play cards that exile your lands because you want to refuel your lands. You want to discard them and you can't discard them from exile with Telerian Wind. So it's actually pretty bad because of that. We're playing Knight's Whisper. You could play something like Reckoner's Bargain, but then you have to find more ways to add artifacts to your deck. I actually ended up going down to two Chromatic Star because I found that they were a little bit lackluster. So... That's my own opinion. You only need four artifacts in your deck to sacrifice to the Deadly Dispute. We have four Synthesizer and then a couple copies of Chromatic Star. In a pinch, you could always sacrifice a Flame Breather if you need to, but I wouldn't recommend it. We obviously also have Lotus Petals. So I'm skimming on Chromatic Stars today. I think that's the best way to fit in these extra draw spells because I felt like the deck was more powerful when I had four Night's Whisper in there. I've also tried builds that went up on lands. Today we're playing 14 total. I've gone up to 16, but I found that there was a lack of velocity in those matchups and I ended up fizzling more. So instead I'm playing these Night's Whispers. In the sideboard, I'll be honest, I'm not really sure if this is the correct build. We have four duress for decks with a lot of removal. We have pyroblast for mono blue fairies. We have Nile Spellbomb to help slow down the Demir Terror deck so that way we can create a window to win. And then we have four Weather the Storm for the burn deck. Is it perfect? I don't know. Honestly, I'm not even sure how competitive this deck is, but I think that it, the Felden's Kane technology was good enough to record this video again. And I think that this deck could have legs. So shout out to Calicles for finding the Felden's Cane technology. And let's see if we can make it work. The last time I recorded this, I actually got a turn two win, which I could not believe. I don't know if that will happen today. Stick around and find out. And I will see you in the first match. Don't go anywhere. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks such as badges, emotes, early access to videos, exclusive members only content, and access to our members discord section. As you increase the tiers, there are other rewards such as shop discounts, cyborg guides, and even free donation decks. Click the join button down below to find out more. We also have other ways you can support us like theepicsroom.com slash shop or submitting a donation deck via theepicsroom.com slash donation decks. That's enough for now. Let's play some magic. Match number one. Let's go. And unfortunately, no lands. Mulligan. All right. This is pretty good. We will keep this. 
I believe you're supposed to bottom the Cabal Ritual here. We need the two lands. We have Knight's Whisper to fire off quickly. We have Chromatic Star for the Deadly Dispute. It makes sense. Cabal Ritual is the odd card out here. All right, and it looks like our opponent has kept seven. Basic Swamp, pass the turn. Bridge, so affinity. Take a draw. Lotus Petal. Let's draw two. Sweet. We'll pass. They play another bridge. Sure thing. Take a draw. It's a dark ritual. I'm just going to play the Chromatic Star and pass. Brainstorm. Okay. I thought it was affinity. Maybe it's not. Plane, so they're Jeskai control. Augur of Bolas. Sure. Cleansing Wildfire. You got it. All right, Preordain, they're giving me a window to win here. I think I'm going to try to take it. Draw for turn, and it's a mountain that's huge. Okay, so I'm going to start off by playing our Pinger. Dark Ritual. All right, let's get some damage in. Deadly Dispute, sacrificing the star. We'll auto yield to this ability. Now we draw three cards and make a treasure. Another Tolarian wins. We did not hit... Of vines. I can play Lotus Petal, deal them one. Let's play the Synthesizer. Okay. We exiled the land, unfortunately. I think I might have fizzled here. That's a bummer. Wins for three. And there's the vines. That's brutal. We needed more draw spells in there. Which is why I added in the Knight's Whisper. You saw a little bit of what I was dealing with when I was just on a list with two more lanes and two more Chromatic Stars. They killed the Kessig Flame Breather. I'm not surprised by that. And a Cleansing Wildfire. They attack for one. We go to 17. We'll just play a land and pass. I think our goal now is hoping that the opponent has a turn where they play a lot of spells. And then we can Sprouting Vines. So they've played another Cleansing Wildfire. They sub six cards in hand. And another Cleansing Wildfire. Sure thing, I'll take one. Do another land. Pass. So now our Sprouting Vines are starting to be kind of bad. So we have five lands in play, two in other zones. So that's seven of our 14 lands. We have seven lands left in the dock. Five mana here. For a Mole Drifter. And they miss their attack step. Knight's Whisper. Might as well cast it. We'll pass the turn. That was actually a reasonable draw. The Artificer. This is some technology taken from the Affinity deck that they're applying to this deck. I think that actually makes a lot of sense. So now they're swinging for six. Okay, so next turn would be seven. It means I have to get moving. Probably just dead here because our opponent has Counterspell mana open, and I don't think I can beat that. Flame Breather, see if we can bait out a counter spell. And there it is. So now we have to get lucky the rest of the way. So Deadly Dispute sacrificing the Synthesizer. And they have Main Deck Dispel. Okay, so we lose that. Brutal. I think I'm going to board in Duress. And I think that this isn't a matchup defined by speed, so I'm going to take out Lotus Petals. It's really tough to board in Duress and Pyroblast. Uh, it's just too many slots, and our deck is an engine deck, so if you end up boarding them both, you dilute quite a bit. On the play. Sure. Play a mountain, and we'll pass the turn. They play a bridge. That was a good draw. Let's dress them. Dispel, Lightning Bolt, Cleansing Wildfire. We'll get rid of the Dispel. We don't care about Cleansing Wildfire. They play the island, and... Yep, the wildfire is now gone. Through a flame breather, we know that they have a lightning bolt. I'm going to play the synth here to see if we hit a land. Ice Whisper, I'll take that. Value. Pass the turn. A little bit short on mana at the moment. Augur of Bolas. Okay. Interesting that they didn't play the planes to hold open the bridge when they have lightning bolt. And I guess it's because they had a mountain in hand. So we have Vines plus Tolarian wins now. We know four of their five cards in hand. The question is, can I get up to enough resources for this to be good? Right of Flame. Let's attempt a Deadly Dispute sacrificing the Experimental Synthesizer. And we reveal another Synthesizer. Ooh. 
We need mana off that. I think we're not going to be able to do a whole lot more this turn. Play the synth. Vines that I can't use. I'm going to play another synth here. Just try to hit my land drop. Ball ritual. That's disappointing. Okay, we have to pass. Mole Drifter. And now I'm guessing that they'll ephemerate. They do. Up to seven cards. We don't have enough resources to go for it here, unfortunately. Right Flame makes three. We have six total mana. That's just not enough. Play the Felden's Cane. And we'll pass. Ephemery comes back. And they draw two more, up to ten cards. It's not looking good for us, but this game is still winnable. It's unfortunate that we just kind of drew a very clunky portion of our deck. Relic. Okay. So that's actually really awkward. Because I have the two Flame Breathers in hand. The fact that we just drew those so early is not great. They don't attack. Sure. They discard a bridge. What to do, what to do. Let's dress them. Spell Pierce. I'll pay for it, sure. Counter target spell. Pass. So they have five cards in hand now. One of them is Lightning Bolt. And that was good for us. Okay. And another Ephemerate. Up to ten cards in hand. So they've completely refilled. And uh, I'm not loving my odds anymore. I think that they probably just have too much. Another Cleansing Wildfire. A discard. An Ash Barons and a Wildfire. I think I'm supposed to just play these out to essentially clear out removal. Or Counterspell, I'm very good with that as well. We know that they have a Lightning Bolt. Okay. They have five in hand. Another Wildfire. Draw. That would have been a good spot to find a Duras. Right of Flame. Right of Flame. How about a Dark Ritual? Okay. So far, everything has happened. We have seven mana floating. Eight, nine, ten. I think what I'm going to do here is Synthesizer because my Storm Count is so low. We hit a Sprouting Vines. I'm going to Synthesizer again. We hit a land. Play the land. And then I'm just going to put four lands to hand. Forest. Island. Mountain. Swamp. Pass. Alright, so they brainstorm and use an Ash Barons on the end step. This game's probably over at this point. I just didn't draw well enough here. Our opponent's deck has a lot of interaction. Another Mole Drifter, okay. No blocks, I'll go to 11. We are within Bolt range as well, so our opponent could just like end step Bolt, Galvanic Blast, that sort of thing. They find an Ephemerate. Okay. There's our Duras, a little late. We'll cast it. Figure out how much of a coward I am for not playing into the counter spell that they were representing. So our Telerian wins would have been countered. Telerian wins for four. Somehow that resolves. Cabal Ritual. Knight's Whisper. Into another Knight's Whisper. Cabal Ritual. Deadly Dispute Sacrificing a Samurai. Dark Ritual. Running on fumes here. Manamorphose. We'll do red, blue. That doesn't help me right now. Manamorphose. Red, green. Manamorphose. Red, red. And we fizzled. Okay, well, uh, I'll be honest. That was kind of a brutal match number one, but stick around. I'm sure we'll make it happen. Moxfield.com is the easiest way to build a magic deck online. They support over 30 formats, including Legacy and many other Eternal formats. There are so many options to view decks the way that you want, from text view to individual cards, mana value, and even card price. There's also light mode and dark mode. My personal favorite feature is card tags. This way you can sort cards by function. Moxfield supports collection tracking, scryfall search, deckless feedback, and so much more. Follow me on Moxfield.com so you can stay updated on all of my decks. Let's try that again. Match number two, we're on the draw and we will keep. 
Okay, here we go. Basic Mountain. Okay, so one of the things about playing this deck is that you're forced to play a lot of basic lands, which means that sometimes you get hands like this where you're just begging to draw a swamp. That's where we're at. Haggle. Okay. Ooh, they're on Reanimator. Okay. I did do some work on this deck recently. Bitter Reunion. Discards of Rust Goliath. Okay. Sprouting Vine. So... I think here I'm just going to play the Flame Breather and pass. And then next turn, pray that we draw a Black Sword. Faithless Looting. Discard Simeon Spirit Guide Looting. They have a land. Exhumed. So they pitched a Spirit Guide here, so they probably have another mana to give the Ulamog's Crusher haste, and they don't. That's interesting. I think they probably should have kept that Spirit Guide for the Bitter Reunion. We ripped our Swamp. We are off to the races. Synthesizer. Actually, I probably should have held this. That was a mistake. Because if I reveal Swamp here, I'm going to feel like a dummy. All right, Lotus Petal. Not a dummy. Confirmed genius. Okay. Dark Ritual. Dark Ritual. Deadly Dispute Sacrificing the Experimental Synthesizer. Auto Yield here. Another uh, Sprouting Vines in Exile. Okay. We'll play the Synthesizer. Opponent's at 14. Hilarion wins. Okay, that's good. We have five mana. So we can do the the A plus B. But I think instead I'm going to Deadly Dispute to try to increase our storm count just a little bit. We're likely to find one mana off these three cards anyway. Another Sprouting Vines. Speaking of mana. hi -oh. Right of Flame. Right of Flame. Play the Feldens Cane. And now I am going to blue green, hold priority, cast Hilarion Winds, and then I will Sprouting Vines. And I'm going to leave a black open. So now we get to pull all the lands out of our deck. And as I mentioned, with the Feldens Cane, you can actually do this multiple times. And with a Sprouting Vines in Exile, that could be something that comes up this game, but I'm hoping that we can just cast nine spells and win instead. We're doing it live. Okay. We're going to discard 12 and draw 12 with a black mana floating. Ding, ding, ding. Game over. The ball ritual. The ball ritual. And we've done it. All right. So we've won game number one versus Reanimator. We've gotten our first win. And now we get to board in three Nile Spellbomb. I think that you could probably just... Like, our opponent's deck isn't a deck that has a lot of removal for a Flame Breather. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the Feldens Cane and two Chromatic Stars. I know that Chromatic Star has a different purpose in this deck, but I want to keep the balance of the deck in mind when I'm sideboarding. So I'm going to choose to do this. Game number two, our opponent's taking a Mulligan. This hand's a little bit sketchy, but I think that this isn't a deck that Mulligans well, so I'm going to keep it. Hermon Swamp into Duress. Uh-oh. Goodbye, Night's Whisper. One has three cards, though, so I imagine we're going to have some time here. Synth isn't bad, but we're going to hold that. Mountain, Faithless Looting. They discarded a Crusher and another Duress. They have one card in hand. I would love to draw my Spell Bomb right now. Pass the turn. No! What a five-card hand! That was so good! All right, so I, I think that we've lost a reanimator here. What a bummer. Okay, next one. Brutal. You could board into rest to like take their exhumes and stuff like that, but I feel like if you do that, you're going to fizzle a lot more on the combo turn. No mana. Ay ay ay. Looks like we're going to five. Really, Doc? Not happy with you right now. This is uh. Not cool. We're going to four. I mean, if you told me I got to pick my four cards, this would actually be it. But I don't feel very confident in our ability to win anymore. Pass. Burnwood Mountain. Knight's Whisper. Okay. Another mountain. Into a Faithless Looting. Summon Undead and another a Bitter Reunion. Okay. They have five in hand. Another Knight's Whisper. Okay, so we're starting to look decent here. And the Ash Barons. 
finding their swamp. Duress, yep. Probably the deadly dispute, and they agree. They have four cards remaining in hand. We draw another dark ritual. We have plenty of mana, but nowhere to go. Merchant of the Veil. You got it. Draw another Cabal Ritual. Ouch, we go to 14. Land past the turn. And they skip their attack step. We'll take a draw. Another land. Pass. They're going to discard a card with Merchant of the Veil and draw a card. And it's a bitter reunion. Ouch, we'll go to 12. Manamorphos. Let's play the Synthesizer, see if I can hit anything good here. Trigger. I'll take another Spell Bomb. They discard a Crusher. Okay. This attack will put us to 10. Bitter Reunion, sure. Discards a Rust Goliath. And now they go to clean up. Discards another Ulamog's Crusher. We have seven in hand. I'm going to pass here. I think on their end step, I'm going to, if they don't do anything again, I'm going to use a spell bomb because we have to draw into something if we want to win this game. Sure, duress me. It's probably the Manamorphos. We'll go to eight. I wonder if I'm supposed to just sit now that I've been discarded. Flame Breather. Blocker. <laughs> yeah. Stops the pain. Our opponent going to combat. I will block. Three mana. For another Merchant of the Veil. Okay. On their end step, we will spell bomb them. Yes, I'd like to pay a block and draw a card. We draw another Synthesizer. Okay. Let's try to have some fun here. Um, let's just start off with the first Synth. Okay. Deals them one. They go to 19. Triggers. Crowding Vines, okay. Dark Ritual. Dark Ritual. Dark Ritual. And we're going to cast everything here, which might seem a little bit reckless, but I want to thin our deck of land so that way these two Synthesizers can hit spells. Okay. Going for Broke. And now we'll add a green. Let's thin our deck of nine lands. Starting at the top. Okay, are we going to pull off a match one on a mulligan to four? It really comes down to these synthesizer reveals. We have one swamp left in the deck. Let's create a 2-2 two -two samurai. Knight's Whisper, I don't mind that one. We'll cast it going down to six life. Our opponent will go to ten. Draw two. And we hit the wins! We hit the wins! Yes! That's a, that's a good game. That is a GG. Sacrifice the Synthesizer. Let's go. And we exiled the final land. Okay. Uh, I guess I can Deadly Dispute. Getting rid of the Samurai. Right of Flame. We'll play the Kessig Flame Breather. The Ball Ritual. Our opponent's at 5. We'll play the Island. Galarian wins. Storm 16, they'll go to 3. And we're drawing a whole lot of cards. Red Blast! Pitching Simeon Spirit Guide. Was not expecting that one. Uh-oh. Okay, so I have nothing but lands in hand. I could use the Spell Bomb here, but I feel like that's a little bit reckless. Instead, we're going to pass the turn. Discard a Mountain. Bummer. Will they attack? I mean, if they attack, and then I swing back and cast one spell, they're dead. They do not. We'll take a draw, and it's a Sprouting Vines. I mean, I can cast it. It just isn't super useful. We'll pass the turn. No end step discard from the Merchant of the Veil. They cycle Ash Barons. Grabbing a Swamp. On their end step, I will Sprouting Vines for one. They go to one life. We're a single spell away from victory here. There's only spells left in our deck, so theoretically... There we go. I was going to say, for some reason I didn't draw one, I could sacrifice the spell bomb. We've done it. We've gotten a match win. Kessig Flame Breather rises. 
Hi ya. All right, we are one in one three matches left. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and mana tokens, as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. All right, we're back for the third match. I'm going to keep, once again, we need a black source so that we can cast the Knight's Whisper, all that good stuff, and Bright of Flame, what? What's going on here? Okay. Is this the Hot Dog stack? It might be. Still need a black source. And the Hot Dog stack being the Kiln Fiend deck, although this creature is an actual dog. Brexian dog. <laughs> the salt strobe on the dog. You've got it. And they're going to pump it up here. Okay. I mean, this seems pretty good to me. I mean, you'd lose to a lightning bolt, but this is, in fact, lethal. I was just turn two'd in Popper. How crazy is that? All right, I'm dead. Probably want these weather the storms. And against the red aggro deck, I think you can board out the Knight's Whispers. The plan is that even if you fizzle, you can gain a million life and pass the turn. Game two on the play. Mm, I don't think I'm allowed to keep this. A little bit better. I think we keep this, and the question is, what do you put on the bottom? I'm going to choose that I want to get lucky and draw into a uh, mountain. Play the swamp and pass the turn. All right, no turn one creature. Draw. Ah, I missed. Okay. We'll play the star then. I wanted to keep the star in hand for storm count, but maybe I was supposed to play it out on turn one. I don't have strong opinions on that. But it looks like they missed on a land here. Let's make a red. Draw a card. Ay, ay, ay. Um, play the synthesizer. Hope to hit a land. Not looking good for the home team. And they found their land. We have a festival crasher. We have to pass. I'm not loving this. Our best draw is probably Deadly Dispute. Opponent attacks. No pumps. I'll go to 19. Draw. Lotus Petal. What to do? What to do? Okay, I think I'm supposed to sacrifice the Synthesizer and hope to hit another thing that filters mana. So, like, Mana Morphos would actually be the perfect card here. I'll take a Lotus Petal. Dark Ritual. Lotus Petal. And now we'll do it for green. Actually, I have enough to play a Flame Breather in here, too. And now we'll Sprouting Vines. If I lose this game by one or two damage, you could argue that I was supposed to play the creature earlier, but I also think that comes with some risk. Okay. Getting some of those lands out. And now we'll play this, and Talarian wins floating a black. So it's a draw seven. I fizzled. We drew two of the lands. It's a shame. Okay, please don't kill me, opponent. We thinned our deck of a bunch of the lands, but I still drew two. Land number four. Immunogenic Growth. Assault Strobe. That's 14 damage coming in. Gamer Battle Rage. So they already have Double Strike. You can't. Have, so this just gave it Trample. So that's 18 and they have one card. Um, That's lethal. So. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's lethal. That's 20. Rough. We Our draw 7 fizzled. Brutal. Okay, one and two. If you're still watching, make sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. While you're near the description, here's a reminder to use our affiliate links if you're going to make a purchase from Amazon, Card Hoarder, or TCG Player. Just above those affiliate links, you'll find our social channels. Make sure to join those to connect with us. Round number four, we're on the play. Let's see if we can come back. Sure. Swamp, pass the turn. Raven Inspector, you got it. Knight's Whisper, 
Pass. Rafine's Informant. Okay, they swing for one. We're at 17. These draws have not been great. Play the Flame Breather. No blocks. So they could have the white card that's an instant that white creatures get plus two, plus two, and I'd rather not trade my Flame Breather for that. Prismatic Strands? Sure. Triggers. And a Cabal Ritual. Yeah, I did not put an answer to Prismatic Strands in my deck. That's kind of annoying. Cabal Ritual. I think I'm just going to pass the turn. Battle Screech? You've got it. All right, well, I'm dead to that Anthem effect that I was talking about. Another Deadly Dispute? Yikes. Okay. Another Sprouting Vines? Not looking good. What to do, what to do? Cabaritual. Manamorphose. Red Green. And we found the fourth Sprouting Vines. We were running very cold this league. Ah, oh, jeez. Deadly Disputes sacrificing the treasure. And they use the strands. We found the fourth Deadly Dispute. I'm going to pass. I have to hope that I live. There's a good chance that we don't, but I don't think it's worth burning any more resources. And there's the Guardian's Pledge. I'm just dead. Eat. Okay, that's the ball game. You could board in Duress, but I don't love that. You could also board in Spellbomb. I think one Spellbomb is probably okay. I wouldn't want any more than one. Maybe shave like one Chromatic Star. Or actually, let's shave one Lotus Petal. Try that again. And I don't think boarding in Weather of the Storm is the right move. You just need to keep your deck consistent. And I'm clearly struggling with that here. All right, we'll put the Tolarian Winds on the bottom. Swamp, pass the turn. Luminarch Veteran. Draw. Hey, we ripped the land. Whoops. Let's cast Knight's Whisper. Nope. There we go. Knight's Whisper, not Lotus Petal. So now at this point, we have everything we need other than the Sprouting Vines. That's what we're looking to find here. Battle Screech to the Graveyard. Draw. And it's a Mountain. Knight's Whisper. And there's the Vines. I think we could try for it here. Bright of Flame, Dark Ritual, Manamorphose, another Ritual would be ideal here, Blue-Green, we've hit the Spell Bomb, I've played my land, I think we just have to settle for 7, alright, Sprouting Vines, I boarded out one Lotus Petal, so there's only two that I can draw into here, so the odds that we win this turn are not super high, I did hit the Petal, but I don't have anything to sacrifice to the Deadly Dispute, so we have to pass. Discard a Mountain. Militia Bugler. Okay. I think a card we'd love to see here is actually the Feldon's Cane. Dark Ritual. A Ball Ritual. Manamorphose. Red. Green. Deadly Dispute will sacrifice the Lotus Petal. Flame Breather. Let's Cabal Ritual, deal them one, Manamorphose, Green Red, Synthesizer, okay, Triggers, another Tolarian Winds, wonder how many lands are gone, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, I have two lands in my deck, I think I'm just going to Tolarian Winds. Okay, draw four. Sacrifice this for red. I will cast right of flame. Another synthesizer. Triggers. Another sprouting vines. Awkward. Okay, dark ritual. Running on air here. Make a blue. Deadly dispute was a good draw. Sacrifice the synthesizer. This gives us a little bit of energy. Another sprouting vines. Awkward. Not looking good here. Okay. Use the other synth. Manamorphose. Play the Manamorphose. Red Black. I think I'm going to sit on the Deadly Dispute. At 15. Yeah, we can sit. Sunlance? That's not very nice. 
We'll dispute that away. We drew another land and another flame breather. Journey to nowhere. Not very kind. Yeah, our opponent's definitely doing the thing here. Block the Rafine's informant. Another Lotus Petal. Pass the turn. Recommission getting back the Rafine's informant. And they have a Prismatic Strand, so I'm out of this one. We're not going to be able to win this. I'm at 9. Chromatic Star. Sure, let's play it. At a block. A little bit late there on the Felden's Cane. Play the Cane. We'll pass the turn. Another Rafine's Informant. Yeah, I'm just going to pick this one up. We're done. So I'm 1 in 3, and honestly, this deck doesn't feel like it has what it takes, but let's see if we can win match number 5, maybe get back 50 play points. With Card Hoarder, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pinned comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as 7 tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash decklist. Okay, the final round. Keep. And if I'm being completely honest, it feels like Pauper... I've fallen out of the level with the format. I hate the fact that Mono Red has been dominant for this long and hasn't been checked. Same could be said for Affinity. Mono Blue Fairies isn't fun for anyone. I just feel like the top of the format aren't decks that I personally enjoy. And sometimes the best thing you can do when you're in a situation like that is not play the format anymore. So that's what I've been doing. This is the first Pauper League I've played since the last time I recorded a video. I've just no interest in playing this format anymore okay and our opponent appears to be on a brew but i could be wrong reckoner's bargain sure okay land pass we have 10 lands in our deck at the moment union of the third path draw a card then you gain life equal to the number of cards in your hand sure probably pretty good against mono red another synthesizer that's probably good enough for me to try to win all right, so we've played a pair of Rite of Flames. Synthesizer number one. Another Sprouting Vines. Mountain. Deadly Dispute, sacrificing a Synthesizer. Get another Deadly Dispute. Manamorphos was a very good rip. Let's cast that. Black Black. Rite of Flame, also a good draw. Deadly Dispute. Getting rid of the Synthesizer. All right, let's play a pair of Lotus Petals. I'm going to put Manamorphos on the stack, holding priority. I'm then going to respond by casting Telerian Winds. I'm going to respond to that by casting Sprouting Vine. Okay. Thinning our deck of all of the lands. And now we'll discard our hand and draw 11. I guess we have to wait for the Sprouting Vines to finish resolving. And now we'll add red black. Okay. Play a flame breather. Dark ritual. Synthesizer. Trigger. Another synth. Trying to get all of my sorcery speed cards out of the way early in case they decide to try to kill this. I can then combo off on the stack a little bit. Fall ritual. Play this Night's Whisper from Exile. Dark ritual. How about a Cabal ritual? Night's Whisper, Night's Whisper, another Cabal Ritual, okay. Deadly Dispute, getting rid of one of the experimental synthesizers. We have a Lotus Petal and a Chilarian Winds over there. Dark Ritual, Deadly Dispute, get rid of a synthesizer. Still two Flame Breathers in the deck in the bottom three cards. Metamorphos, Red Red. There's one. Manamorphos. Red, red. So it's the very bottom card. We'll make a red. Play it. Lotus Petal, deal them three. The Ball Ritual, deal them three. And let's say our opponent was just sitting on removal here. We have enough resources here for me to Tularian Winds, Sprouting Vines, and Felden's Cane all over again. So this was sort of the I, the concept you're seeing here is what I talked about in the deck deck. Unfortunately, this league has gone terribly, but this is sort of the idea. 
I'm just going to resubmit. Game to run the draw. This hand doesn't do a whole lot. I'm going to keep it only because our opponent's playing a discard deck. And I don't like the idea of mulliganing a lot versus a deck with discard in it. But this hand is not ideal. Swamp Pass. We draw another mountain. Okay. Cast the gate. So I'm going to lose my Knight's Whisper. Not that I can cast it. Well, without burning the Lotus Petal, that is. Another mountain. One of the dangers of playing an all basic stack. Sure. Plans for days. They deadly dispute. They play a wellspring. Continue to pass the turn. Goliath Paladin, yeah. Felden's Cane, not super relevant at the moment. Another Goliath Paladin. I think they're going to win this one. I don't think we're going to be capable of coming back from here. 17. Synthesizer. Let's play it. Dark Ritual, perfect hit. All right, let's do it again. Another Dark Ritual. Pass the turn. And I forgot to play a land. Okay. I'm just going to pick this one up. That was a mess. Game three. Resubmit. The final game. Can we win? This isn't bad. I mean, this is a, one of the better hands we've had so far today. Play the Chromatic Star. Pass the turn. Blood Fountain. Draw. I think I'm just going to play the Flame Breather. You could try to push your limits here and hope to spike a Tolarian Winds, but I don't think that's necessarily the best path forward. And they're giving me the turn three potential here. I'm definitely going to go for it. Ah, they have Snuff Out. Brutal. Draw. Okay, right of Flame. Dark Ritual. Anamorphose. Red, blue. Another right of Flame. Green, red. Night's Whisper. Uh oh, it's all down to this chromatic star right here. We'll do a black. This is it. Come on. Brutal. That's disappointing. Well, sprouting vines. Okay, so now we just have to hope to draw Tolarian Winds to convert our hand into something useful going forward. Play out the Lotus Petal. And pass the turn. Bajookabog. Yeah. Play a land, I guess. Pass. Maybe I was supposed to play the island there. Another Ecker Wellspring. Sure. Castigate. So we have one win condition left in our deck. One Kessig Flame Breather. And there it is. That's it. If this gets exiled, we lose. Alright, so now another Bajookabog or Graveyard Hate would end it. Yep. Pass the turn. You have a Goliath Paladin. Raven's Crime me. Pass. Raven's Crime again. And Spellbomb. I'm good to concede to that. Okay, so we went 1-4 in a miserable fashion. And when we look at the deck, I think there's a couple things that are wrong with it. The basics often color screwed us. Uh, you could argue that I shouldn't be playing the island or the forest, but like there's uh, there was a couple games where I needed them, if I'm being completely honest. Like you could say maybe don't play the forest, and I could see that being okay, but I think you need the island for a Tolarian win. So I think that in order for this sort of strategy to be successful, they need to print a red Tolarian wins or something similar to it. There's a couple cards that exist, but they're not commons, they're uncommon, so that's unfortunate. But in this format, Tolarian Winds gets hit by Pyroblast, which is one of the most commonly played cards, and that's a big issue. Uh, the deck is also a little bit too slow, if I'm being completely honest. Like, turn four or five just isn't fast enough in this format. There's some consistency issues there. Ultimately, I think that Pauper just isn't in a good place and has nothing to do with this deck that I didn't pl that I played today that probably isn't very good. Um, the top of the format is just so good, and we didn't even face those decks. but. Even against the decks we faced, this deck wasn't powerful enough. But, like, the decks I enjoy playing, like Cycle Storm or whatever, that deck is buried. Like, it's not good. Walls is fine. Reanimator is fine. But, ultimately, I don't think that those decks are competitive enough against the top of the field. And that's why I haven't been enjoying the format. So, sometimes 
when you don't like a format, it's good to take a break. I think I'm going to do that with Popper for a bit. If you're subscribing for the Popper content, there will be more Popper content in the future, but I'm probably not going to play anymore until there's a banning. Um, I just don't like this format anymore. Sorry. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Keep storming. Hey, Brian Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.